Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Ripples by Amardot, and I'll give you the secret to spotting Sudoku X-Wings while I do it. More than that, I'm going to show you the other advanced strategy you need to know in order to solve this puzzle. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. This is a joy of a puzzle. The thing you'll want to notice and focus on is these corner cells. I tried doing some solving before and I kind of got stuck. You can do some Snyder notation. You're not going to get very far. But what we want to notice is there's a lot of nines and there's a lot, a decent amount of eights in this puzzle and they're strategically located. So for example, let's look here in column one. Where can a nine be in column one? You'll notice since there's a nine right here in block four, a nine can't be in any of these two spots. So a nine has to be in one of these two spots right here. So we can put the nines there. Now let's go over here and look at column nine. Where can a nine be? Because of this nine, it can't be in any of these three spots. So it can only be in these two spots. So what does this create? When you have a nine in the same two uh, rows along two columns, that's an X-wing, right? A nine either has to be here and here or here and here. So this creates an X-wing of nines. This is great. And so what that means is now you can eliminate all the nines across row one that are not in the blue. So none of these cells can be a nine and none of these cells can be a nine because we know a nine's got to be there or there or there or there. All right, we're just getting started. That is not the end of the X-wings. We got more, so keep watching because now we want to look at the eights. All right, let's look across row one. Where can an eight be in row one? It can't be in any of these three cells because of this eight. So that means the eights have to be in one of these two spots in the blue. Okay, let's come on down to row nine. This is great stuff. I love how Amber Dot put this in this puzzle. Now, I have solved it before and I found it and I, oh, this is good stuff. I had to show this video to you guys. All right, let's look at row nine. You know, uh, eight can't be in any of those three spots, so the eights got me in one of the blue. So what does that mean about the eights? The same thing, the eights form an X-wing. So what we can tell is now an eight has to be here, here, or here, or here. Otherwise, you break the puzzle. Uh, so an eight can't be in any of these three cells, and it can't be in any of those three cells. So we have two Sudoku X-wings. This is awesome. I'll tell you that this reminds me of another puzzle that takes this idea into a whole new direction. So stay tuned to the end. I'll give you that link. You will want to watch that video as well. But looking at X-Wings, if you're not quite familiar with how X-Wings work, I did do a tutorial, and I'll put a link to it right here, where you can go check it out and see how to spot these X-Wings. But the secret is to look for limitations like this within a puzzle. And you want to see those limitations? Where there's some blocking out, you can solve X-Wings and make some great uh, eliminations and solves in a puzzle. But now, the, there's, this is the cool part here. Because the eight and nines are in the same four cells, these, and now you eliminate all the eights here and the nines, you eliminate all the eights here and the nines, you can look at this two different ways. All right, the easier way is to look at these as a hidden pair. Since the, with the X-wing, the eight can't be here and the nine can't be here, the eight and nines are living in the same two cells in column one, and the same thing here in column nine. So that makes it, a hidden pair. So you can eliminate any other possibility in these cells. You can keep eight, nine. The other way to look at it is you could look at this as a continuous loop. And the way that would work is you look here at the eight and you go, okay, the eight has a strong link to the nine, weak link to this nine, strong link to this eight, weak link to this eight, strong link to this nine, weak link to this nine, strong link to this eight, weak link to this eight, strong link to the nine. And so you'd see it's a continuous loop and you can eliminate all the eights and nines along the way. So if you didn't find the X-wing, you could still uh, figure this out as a series of strong and weak links and eliminate. The big thing here is you want to eliminate any other candidates from these cells. So like uh, you see this cell right, right here, uh, it can't be a one, but it could you know, could put a two in there. You can't put a three, four, five, or six. You could have put a seven in there. Now those are all eliminated because we know that could only be an eight or a nine. This is good stuff because now we can start filling in 
these three cells here, right? Because, you know, the 8, 9, 11 of those two spots, this is where we get some good solving taking place. So you're looking for a 2, 6, 7 down here. So this is going to be a naked triple. I'll make that purple. And we can eliminate the 2 from right here, and we can eliminate the 7 from right here. You might think, oh, we're done, and this puzzle is going to collapse. It is not. Uh, there is still, again, at least one more advanced strategy you need in order to solve this all the way. Let's come up here, and we're missing, looks like a 1, 5, 7. So, 1, 5, 7 across the way. And you'll notice with this 1 and 7, we can actually solve a cell. We can solve that for a 5. And now with this one there, you can actually solve this for a 1 and this for a 7. So we can make some solving. This is good stuff. Let me eliminate uh, these colors here. And we can actually eliminate the colors because we've already done the X-Wing damage. And we'll get rid of the extra marks there. Keep that our hidden pair. All right, now let's go in column nine and then we'll go to column one. So what can be here in column nine that's, that hasn't been marked yet? It looks like we're investing a two, five, and a seven. So we'll go two, five, seven. And you got the seven here in row four. So we'll eliminate that seven. And again, that is another naked triple. So now two, five, seven can't be in any of these other spots here in block six. And then you come over here and when we miss, it looks like a one, six, seven. So one, six, seven over here. We got the seven there. So eliminate the seven. And we got the one here. We eliminate that one. Same thing, another naked triple. Okay, hopefully you see all that. This is good stuff. And we've made some, we solved some cells. So we're making some progress. But now this is another cool strategy uh, technique that Amber Dot puts in there. There's a lot of symmetry in this puzzle. You probably noticed by the way it is set up. And so there's some symmetry here. The thing I want you to notice is along rows three and seven. You notice there's the three and the fours cut across rows three, three and seven. They're swapped out in columns one and nine. That means three and four can't be along there. The other thing you might notice is now we have these naked triples influencing these cells here because now one, five, seven can't be in any of those cells. Same thing with this naked triple, two, six, seven can't be in these one of those two cells. And then remember, uh, an eight, and you got this nine here and this eight here. So an eight, nine can't be in that cell and can't be in that cell. You can solve these two cells and let's look for it. All right, what can be in this cell? Can't be a one, two, three, or a four. It can't be a five. Uh, it could be a six, but it can't be a seven, eight, or a nine. So we can actually solve this cell right here for a six. It creates a naked single right there. And it's because of all the pressure in the symmetry of this puzzle and with these naked triples. This is great stuff. So let's come down here. What can you solve this cell for? Looks like it can't be a one, possibly a two, can't be a three or a four. Uh, could be a five. Okay, so it could be, oh, it can't be a two because of that two, right? Could be a five, but it can't be a six. Can't be a seven because of seven down there, eight or nine. So we can actually solve this cell for a five. And I said it could be a two, but I was wrong, right? Because the twos are down there. So you can solve that cell for a five. This is great stuff. Okay, so now we're getting some good solves here. Let's see where else we can go with this puzzle. All right, you got a one and a one here and a one. We can solve this for a one. And like I said, you want to stay tuned. We are not done. Just because I'm starting to fill in some extra digits, we got another advanced strategy. It's coming your way. All right, so we saw that one there. Uh, what else do we have here? I saw the ones. Let's look at the fours. Fours can be one of those two spots. I'll make some smiley remarks here while we're at it. In fact, what can be in here that we haven't solved yet? Looks like a three, four, and a nine. So this could be, looks like a four, nine. This could be a three, four, and then this could be a three, four, nine. Okay, what about right here? What are we missing? You're missing a three, four, and a nine as well, but you got the three and a four here. So we can actually solve this. Four your nine, which is going to give us a three, four naked pair. And this is good because now this three, four and this three, four are also a naked pair. And I'll mark that in yellow, which means the three, four can't be anywhere else along column five. And so now we can mark the naked pair here in the middle. What are we missing? Actually, it's going to be part of naked triple with this two, six, seven. So the seven can't be in either one of those spots. We could actually solve this cell now for a seven. 
which makes this a six and makes this a two. See how that works? And then now you only have two cells remaining, so this is going to be uh, a two or an eight. All right, because we already have the six right there. So this is a two or eight. That's going to be a naked pair. Good stuff. This is good stuff for us. All right. And now what we want to notice is nine. We can actually eliminate that nine from right there and solve the nine right here. And we're not done yet. We're making some great solves, but we are not done. And so what can be here? It looks like three, four, six. And that's no longer a four because of this four. And then right here, it looks like a three, four, five. And because of the four up in row four, we can make that mark. Okay, great. And I'll get rid of these extra fours. I don't like having the extra in there. So now you're seeing we're making some restrictions, making some limitations. This is good stuff. But we are not done yet. And again, there's another advanced strategy lurking in the winds. We're going to find it here soon. So keep watching. Let's look across row three. What are we? You only have three cells remaining, so there's some good restriction there. You're looking for a five, seven, or an eight. All right, so the five can't be here, and the five can't be here. So that's going to be your five right there. And then uh, can we solve seven or eight? Not yet, but we'll make that mark. And so now five here, here. We know there's fives there. Okay, what about along row three? We're looking for a two. We're looking for a six. Looks like a two, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so this can't be a two, and yep, yeah. so six, seven, eight. Get rid of the six here because the six up in column two, two, six, seven, eight. All right, and the six can't be here, so we can actually solve this one for the six. And because of this two, that's going to be a seven, eight, and then this is going to be your two. You can see how the two works right there, and how the six works right there. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So we've made some more solves. This is good stuff. And we have like now these seven eights working. Um, and they they actually create, uh, the seven eights uh, actually create their own X-wing. You, did you notice? So really, you know, seven's got to be here, here, or here, here. So you can't have any more sevens along column eight. You can't have any more sevens along uh, column two. Which is kind of nice. And the sevens couldn't be in, in blocks four and six because of these naked triples anyway. But you can, in theory, eliminate a seven from right here and from right there and from right there. So how does that help us with this puzzle? Um, what else is remaining in this block? Looks like two, seven, eight, nine. Can't be an eight. So we, if we did a two, seven, nine, and you got rid of the nine because of this nine, and you got rid of the seven, that's what you're looking up here in block one. And if we went over here, looks like it's still, it'd be a six, seven, eight, nine. And we already have the eight in there. So you're talking six, seven, nine. We can eliminate this nine, and then you can eliminate this seven. So you're creating a lot of BVCs, by value cells. This is good stuff for us. All right. And then if you came down here, uh, what are we looking for here? It looks like one, seven, eight, nine. You got that eight again. So one seven nine get rid of this seven and get rid of this nine all right a lot of restrictions there and if you came here what would you have it looks like a five seven eight nine and we already have the eight in there so five seven nine we can get rid of that seven because of the x wing and now we also can get rid of this nine right there and so you create some really a ton of bvcs when i'm seeing a lot of buy value cells I know I'm getting close to another uh, another type of advanced strategy. In particular, it's things like not just naked and hidden triples. But now we're looking for like XY chains. We're looking for XY wings, XYZ wings. Those things will come up more prevalent. Okay, and so let's look and see where else we can make some marks here. Let's look in column. Seven. What are we missing? It looks like we're missing a one, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're missing a one, six, seven, eight. So one, six, seven, eight. Now this can't be a one. And anything that we can eliminate from here. 
No, but it does limit our eights of these two spots. Okay. And then what about here? It looks like we're missing a two. Let's see, two, five, seven, eight. So two, five, seven, eight. And actually, I forgot about this. We can limit those sevens, right? Because we got the two, five, seven here. So that limits that a little bit more. And if you're going right here, because you have a one, six, seven, sevens can't be in there. So two, five, eight. And if you look across here, we actually create ourselves a, believe it or not, create ourselves a naked triple. And it's going to lead to some solving. So look at this. What do we got here? Two, five, and eight are limited to those three cells. So that's a naked triple, which means we can eliminate a five from any other cell we see along row four. So you actually eliminate the five from right there and solve that for a three. And then this cell would be limited to the one six because it can't be a two five eight it can't be a three four seven nine nice i like that i like that logic there i don't think we're not done we are not done yet though we are not done so stay tuned pay attention because i want to see where else we can go with this awesome puzzle and this awesome solve the other thing you might notice too is this one six eight a naked triple which means we can actually solve this cell right here see how the one six eight uh, are limited to those three cells and the two five sevens limited to these three cells well the only thing left is a three so we actually can solve now for a three because that's the only place it can be which means now we can solve this cell for a three cool huh and so if you notice these naked triples hidden pairs uh it all will come to play and you can just make more and more solves so now we've kind of unlocked with this naked triple we've unlocked this you got a four to three here you got the four and the three there. We got the six here. Nice. Three, six means this has to be your four, and this is going to have to be your five. See how all that worked? All right. And we get rid of the five there. We're going to start making some good eliminations. Get rid of the five there. So now you have a two, eight. All right. And we'll continue on moving with this solve and this puzzle. So now where I want to focus my attention. Oh, we just made a bunch of solves. Took a three and a four. Got this one, six, seven. So this has to be a two, five, eight. Well, the five cuts across. That can't be a five anymore. So your five is limited to one spot here in block four. So we can solve that for a five, which gives us a seven here. It's going to now clear out everything down here in block seven. Great. Awesome. And now with we, once we figure out the nine, remember we have these X-wings. We can start solving these easy and then now remember since there's bye bye cells here and they're all different we're gonna be able to solve blocks one three and nine very easily now because of this eight up here means this has to be your seven this has to be your two this has to be your nine and then because of this nine this has to be your six that's your seven that's your eight all right and then we got the six up there this is going to be a one Great. We get rid of the one right there. Because it's a six, eight, and compare them because the seven, this is going to be a one. Now we got the nine, we got the seven right there. So we've cleaned out those outside blocks. And we're still not done. We still got to figure out the middle here. So we got the one that creates a six right there. Here's your seven, here's your one. All right. We are cooking and we're going to be really close because the eight is in column two. This has to be your eight right here. This would be your two. Nice, 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 nice. And let's look across. We got a six here. It means this has to be eight. That's your six. Uh, because of the eight, we got the two here. We got the eight there. Awesome, awesome. And now with the two and the seven, means this has to be your five. That's going to be your two, and that's going to be your seven. So check out this other puzzle that takes this idea in a whole new direction. You will want to watch that. Thank you, AmberDot, for letting me feature your puzzle on this channel. Awesome setter. Thanks for the recommendations. Don't forget, Bybee Coffee Link supports me to keep making this great content for you. Thank you so much for watching.